Welcome to Structures Unchained, your weekly deep dive into the world's most ambitious mega projects. This week, we're in Houston, a city built on energy, scale, and reinvention. How does America's fourth largest city prepare for the next century of growth? How do you realign highways, reshape shipping lanes, build biotech districts, and launch commercial space flight? All at once. From flood zones to flight paths, Houston is laying down infrastructure across four different frontiers. Here's how the city is betting big, project by project. Houston's downtown highway core is being reimagined. The North Houston Highway Improvement Project is a $13 billion, 24-mile rebuild of I-45, set to reshape how the city moves. The focal point is Segment 3, wrapping around downtown. It kicked off with the St. Emanuel drainage upgrade in late 2024, a $121 million flood mitigation effort. Then, in early 2025, crews launched Segment 3B-2, a $695 million rebuild of the I-69 SH-288 interchange, adding new lanes, frontage roads, and bike paths across 8-plus miles. But this is more than a widening. The outdated Pierce Elevated will be removed, reconnecting neighborhoods and unlocking new land. I-45 will reroute to follow I-10 and US-59 and I-69, with plans for managed express lanes, safer curves, and freeway caps that could support new parks. Phase 3 wraps in 2033. The full corridor completes by approximately 2042, with segments 1 and 2 launching after 2030. More than infrastructure, this is a bet on urban repair, swapping division for connection, and designing a freeway for the next century, not the last. Just south of Midtown, the skyline shifts from towers to test tubes. This is Helix Park, a 37-acre research campus being woven into the Texas Medical Center. Think science, shaped into a district. At its core, the new UT Health Houston School of Public Health, a 10-story, 350,000-square-foot academic tower that topped out in February 2025. With a $299 million budget, it brings UT Health's public health programs under one roof, combining research labs, digital classrooms, and open-plan workspaces designed to spark collaboration across fields. It's not just another university building. It's a precision-made launchpad for the next wave of epidemiologists, data scientists, and health policy experts. And it couldn't come at a better time. National estimates call for 80,000 new public health professionals in the next few years. When it opens in fall 2026, this building will be ready to meet the moment. Around it, Helix Park's design bends towards symbolism. Six buildings and five new public parks form a walkable biotech grid, tied together by the Helix Sky Park, an elevated, double helix-shaped promenade winding 60 feet above ground. That loop offers skyline views, pedestrian trails, and green rooftops. Below it, 250,000 square feet of shops, cafes, and galleries make the campus feel like a real neighborhood. Already, pieces are in place. The TMC3 Collaborative Building opened in 2023 with 250,000 square feet of shared lab space. The Dynamic One Tower, 350,000 square feet of commercial R&D has one tower topped out, another due by 2025. Baylor College of Medicine is anchoring a therapeutics hub. To protect all this, a six-foot elevation of the site and a 10 million gallon underground detention system. This isn't just a research park, it's engineered resilience. With a projected $1.5 billion investment, and long-term plans to grow to 5 million square feet, Helix Park positions Houston as a biotech third coast, a place where science lives and breathes. Zoom out to Galveston Bay. Here, a different kind of corridor is being reshaped, one made of water, sediment, and shipping traffic. 
Project 11 is the $1.9 billion expansion of the Houston Ship Channel, a widening, deepening, rethinking of the most active waterway in the United States. As of 2025, the transformation is moving fast. Segment 1B, an 8.3-mile section from Redfish Reef to Bayport, is now fully dredged. It's wider, 700 feet, deeper, 46.5 feet, and open for two-way traffic. The payoff? Faster transits, fewer backups, and access for newer, bigger vessels. Segment 1C, from Bayport to Barber's Cut, is expected to wrap dredging by quarter three, 2025. Segment 3, covering Barber's Cut Channel, began dredging in March. By October 2025, Port Houston's work was largely complete. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers took over final segments, and daylight transit restrictions in Galveston Bay were lifted, marking a new operational chapter. But Project 11 isn't just about throughput. Dredged material is being reused to create wildlife habitats, oyster reefs, bird islands, and restored marshes, combining industrial scale with ecological recovery. By 2029, the full channel will support larger tankers, LNG carriers, and mega container ships, ensuring Houston remains competitive globally. With 3 million jobs and $900 billion in national economic value tied to this port, this is more than infrastructure. It's a shipping lane into the future. Meanwhile, at the edge of the city, Houston is betting on something entirely different orbit. On a 22-acre site at Ellington Field's Houston spaceport, Axiom Space has planted a flag for the next era of human spaceflight. Their global headquarters, opened in December 2023, marks the start of a private space race, with Houston at its center. The Phase 1 campus features a 106,000-square-foot assembly, integration, and test building. Inside, high bay hangars, training simulators, and mission control rooms hum with activity. Engineers are building pressurized modules, components that will first attach to the ISS in 2026 and later become the backbone of Axiom Station, the world's first commercial space station. Beyond the hardware, Axiom is building out the people side. After AX-2, their second private astronaut mission to the ISS, the company began training crews for AX-3 on site. International agencies, commercial astronauts, and career explorers are all part of the new Houston Launchpad. This is more than one company's ambition. Axiom anchors a broader space ecosystem at the spaceport, alongside Collins Aerospace, makers of NASA's next-gen EVA suits and intuitive machines, developers of lunar landers. Together, they're reigniting Houston's space city legacy for the commercial era. With a $1 billion-plus valuation and Phase II expansion under discussion, Axiom's facility shows that orbital infrastructure isn't a fantasy. It's a construction timeline, and Houston is building it. Highways are being tunneled and realigned. Labs are rising on former floodplains. Dredgers are sculpting wider lanes for ships. And inside a hangar, space station modules are being prepped for orbit. This is Houston, not just growing, but recalibrating, overlapping timelines, divergent goals, and one simple bet. Build it now. Lead the next era. If you want more Mega Project Deep Dives, subscribe for future dispatches from the frontiers of transformation.